let's build a Zapier integration that lets you connect Google Docs to your Reflect notes. And this specific integration is going to let you drag or save or create any Google document within a unique folder that I've titled here, Save Your Reflect. And when you put the document into this folder, it will automatically save it to your Reflect notes. So before going into Zapier, I would recommend first setting up a folder in your main root drive titled something similar to this, Save to Reflect, but I would make this the sole purpose of the folder. And then put in a test document. So here I just wrote a quick document, save this doc to reflect, and this is a document that I've saved to reflect using Zapier. Now, this is just a test to make sure the integration works when we build it. Then once you have that set up, you can go on over to Zapier. And I'm going to go ahead and just search for Reflect here because we're going to copy one of the pre-built templates that we have set up. So this is the main Reflect page on Zephyr, and it'll show you apps it can connect with. But what we're interested in here are these pre-built templates. So all the way at the bottom here, you see there's one, add new Google Docs to Reflect. Let's click try it. And here, most of the hard work's done for you. So we can just click into this first step. You're going to want to select your account here. I've just put in a couple accounts because I was testing this for the demo video, but I'll just select my main one there. And here is where you're going to want to find the folder that you've built. So here I've got the save to reflect. I'm going to click on that. And it's just going to look for a document in there, which is why we wanted to pre-populate that test document. So let's see if it find it, found it. Perfect. There it is. So let's continue to the second step. Same thing, log into your Reflect account. And again, I've just got a few here because of my demo videos. I'll continue. And the action is where you can customize what it's going to look like once it gets into Reflect. But I would actually recommend just keeping the same format here. They've set it up very well and the note appears quite clean within the Reflect. So I'm going to leave this all. I don't want to pin it. I'm going to leave this as false. And as always, for the graph ID and Zapier, ignore all of this information and just manually type in whatever your graph name is. All right, so then you're going to do the test action. And this is just going to look for that test note. It's going to try it here. It says note was sent to reflect one second ago. But before we publish, let's go take a look. So if we go to all notes at the top here, save this doc to reflect and Everyone will just appear as a new note like this. So if I wanted to, I could even go back to this step here and maybe type in a, I don't know, maybe a, a tag that says Google Doc import. And then that way I know in my reflect notes, that something was a Google Doc import and I can search for it if I want. Uh, so this is a very useful integration if you work a lot in Google Docs and there are things that you want to save. Again, you can just set up this folder, drag anything over there, and it will automatically save you enough.